assume we are cutting since of section, but I would like to stretch it up a little bit more. An account here is the period during which the financial statements of a company are prepared. As we all know, a company prepares every year a balance sheet, profit and loss account, and cash flow for the presentation of its financial records. In India, accounting year begins from April 1 and ends on March 31st. There are many reasons why India didn't interrupt the calendar year as a financial year. One reason is the increased sale during the October, November, and December due to festivals and the corresponding increase in complexity of accounting. And we cannot overlook the matter that around April March, in the new year takes place, which is based on the lunar calendar. Different parts of India celebrate it in their own way, due to being under British Empire for quite a long time. Hence, accounting systems on India is influenced by British. The British calendar year, which India follows, is based on the Georgian calendar. There is an interesting story behind it. The British government chose to use the Georgian calendar, but before doing this, they decided to change the date of the new year to January 1st. Till then, the first day of the year had always been March 25, also known as Lady Day. The financial year used to be March 25 to December 31st in England and its colonies around the world. But in 1752, the English government agreed to start the new year on January 1st. The accountants felt that changing the date would be unjust and rebelled against it. Hence, the financial year continued to be followed from April 1st. An Indian crop circle is also around April March. In United Kingdom, the financial year starts from April 6th and ends on 5th April. On the other hand, New Zealand's accounting year begins from April 1 to March 31st. United States is quite different from other countries. It is from October 1st to September 30. Philippines government's fiscal year begins from 1st January and ends on 31st December.